Hi, welcome to this demonstration video of MathGauge for Oracle. And I'll be introducing the powerful function Real Time Monitor today. And before we get started, let's figure out this question What is MathGauge? MathGauge specializes in database performance management with Real Time Monitoring, powerful performance analyzer functions, which is a must have tool for today's DBAs. And in this video, I'll be focusing on real-time monitoring. Real-time monitoring, it's just like a security camera which gives you a clear idea of what is happening and what have happened in your database system. Matsketch for Oracle web version is designed in a user-friendly way. You can monitor your system using Google Chrome browser with a simple login and you will see the screen. Now, Let's take a closer look at icons and frames of the dashboard. Through the plot icon, which is at the top of the screen, users can easily check information like DB name, IP address, port number, ARC version, etc. Meanwhile, the navigation panel at the left side helps you confirm DB status and all group lists. Let's start with trend view which is default screen and is a powerful and frequently used function of MathGauge. You can monitor multiple databases simultaneously through the trend view, and each instance is colored differently. OK, let's look at the sections one by one from the left to the top. Here, the section basically provides indicators related to OS information. Thus, CPU, or memory usage, can be easily monitored. When it comes to database system performance management, not only the DB system, it's also important to monitor resources from OS level. That's why, by using MathGauge, users can monitor their DB system while checking their OS system in the same screen. CPU that are used by Oracle is also offered in the section. In order to figure out the issue at peak time, most of frames in MathGauge provide a top-down approach. For example, when you click on the process that is consuming a large amount of CPU resource, you will see an entire list of all processes that with large CPU. If the related process belongs to Oracle sessions, you can find SID information in the SID column. That's why identifying the cost of large CPU can be done with ease by a simple click or right click. Now, Let's move on to trend chart. We're going to talk a lot about this frame. Monitoring activities from DB system level is just as important as those from OS level. What is the exact number of sessions which are being executed out of excess? How much memory I.O. or disk I.O. is actually being generated by the SQL being executed? We need to know the daily trend information provided by Oracle. And basically, you will see these six graphs which are shown in two times three sections, and it is composed of the most frequently viewed indicators when monitoring the database. Over 1,000 indicators and events provided by Oracle can be changed and monitored by simply clicking on the indicator name. If you look at the top of the trend chart, you will find these small icons. If you click the graph icon, you can change the shape into bar type or solid line graph. When monitor multiple instances, you may find it a little bit frustrating because the graph overlaps each other and you cannot see them very clearly. Here is a very useful tip for you. You may actually zoom in a certain section by clicking the scale up icon in the center. At the bottom of the screen is the active session frame. This allows you to check which sessions are entering the database in real time and which SQL is being executed. By providing 2 to 30 pieces of key information per session, comprehensive monitoring is possible. And by right-clicking the session, it is connected to the detail window, enabling more related information and SQL confirmation. You can select a certain instance in the upper right corner of the frame and if the number of active sessions increases at a specific time, you can change to the summary mode and check the cause of the problem at a higher level through grouping information based on schema, program, module, 
and SQL. Now, let's move on to the middle right part of the dashboard, log waiting session count and long active session count. The log waiting session count provides easy recognition of the number of sessions waiting for a log, for instance, as well as the time each session waits for a log. By default, information are divided into four groups, less than 5, 10, 60 seconds, and those longer than 60 seconds. However, the time interval can be changed as you want through the options. When you click the screen, you will be connected to the log tree and you can immediately check the log holder and SQL information being executed. And it's possible to terminate the sessions as well. Now, let's look at the long active session count. As we've talked before, you can also check all information by four default groups. Each of them represents the time consuming, less than three, 10, 60 seconds, and those more than 60 seconds. You can also change them in the options. The sessions running for more than a few seconds are counted by color. With just one click, you can see the session information. This is used for function that counts and demonstrates sessions when they are executed for more than a few seconds or lock occurs for more than a few seconds. And if you look at the top center, you can see a frame called SQL elapsed time, which is expressed as the dot at the time when SQL execution is finished. So you can check the overall distribution of SQL execution. If it has been executed for a long time and the dot is marked on the upper part, you can check which specific SQL took a long time and even the related history by dragging the corresponding part. Here is another frequently used function during monitoring, the alert log in the upper right corner. You can set up an alert in the database managed by each individual, check the relevant part when alert occurs, and manage the DB. You can check how many warning, how many critical, and whether the corresponding alert is Oracle alert, table space utilization, server status, DB down, listener down, max gauge demo down, etc. When alert occurs, it's possible to recognize them by different colors, red and yellow. In the graph frame, the users are also able to check the history. This helps you prevent issues in advance while checking alert-related information. And basically, these frames are provided as default, but if you select the menu icon in the upper right corner of the screen, the select menu is provided. The tool operates as a separate window, and in the document frame area, you can select design a component and drag drop conveniently. You can configure the screen to your liking. You can also check what each frame represents by hovering the mouse over it. Now, let's talk about RAC view. RAC settings can be done through group name and instance ID of RAC group in configuration. In the upper part, you can check the bandwidth information of the interconnector, and you can check the network traffic information through it. The RAC view can be monitored through the load balance frame so that you can check whether the balance between the RAC nodes is well achieved, and you can click the indicator name to change it to design one. In addition, if a lot occurs on the RAC through the global lot screen, the relevant part is counted. Once you click on it, you can also check the lock holder and slave session through the lock tree. The active session's current weight class screen displays the number based on the current weight class. We've seen the active session frame in the trend view. In the RAC view, a button to match the synchronization between RACs can be compared at once, so you can conveniently monitor the sessions between RACs. Next is the single view. With this screen, you can monitor one specific instance intensively, and the functions are quite similar to what we've mentioned above. The 24-hour trend comparison helps you compare and monitor indicators based on yesterday and today. Usually, issues with similar patterns can be detected by the change of them. The reference date or indicator is easily changeable. If a certain number suddenly increases, or if you want to check the history of sessions, that have passed momentarily. Click 
the magnifying glass icon in the upper right corner, you will be provided a session or SQL information within three minutes without going to the Performance Analyzer page. However, for more detailed information, Performance Analyzer is always there for you. We'll be talking about that page in another video. Last but not least, when you need, the Adset View screen is also provided, so you can conveniently select the view you want to monitor and use the Performance Analyzer button in the upper right corner to go directly to the Post Analysis screen. So far, we've briefly learned about MathGage real-time monitoring function. Thank you for watching.